children are super excited about starting big school in September. For some parents, this is a happy moment, an emotional moment, and most times, very worrying. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five major concerns that most parents have when their child or children are about to start big school. Before I do that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button, the red button, so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And click on the like button as well, that's the thumbs up button, and give this video a thumbs up. One of the major concerns that most parents have is, my child will be scared. Yes, your child will be scared, and it's normal. This is a huge change. It's a huge transition, either from home to school, or from, your, or from the child minder's house to school, or from nursery to the big school. So this is a huge change. And it's okay to be scared, or it's normal to think they're going to be scared. Even as an adult, I remember there are some few jobs I've started, and on the first day I was scared. I didn't know who I was going to meet. I didn't know what, um, what I was going to feel. So basically, it's a huge change. It's a huge transition. My advice is just take things one day at a time. Let them not think that you are scared. Let them not see the fear or feel the fear in you. They feel that you are nervous. Nervousness rubs off on children. They could start being nervous as well. So mom, dad, just relax. Take it a day at a time. One day, two days. By the end of the week, let's see, let's find out what will happen. Another concern that most parents have is, my child will not eat lunch. I had this concern. Two of my kids were fussy eaters. So I knew, and because I knew this, as soon as they started school, I told them in school, hey, my child, this is the, the situation with food. You know, when I come to pick her up in the evening, they will tell me, oh, guess what? Well, she had two spoons today uh, for lunch. I'm like, okay, hey, well done, two spoons. Then the next day, when I come to pick her up, they'll say, guess what? She ate two and a half spoons. I'm like, okay, well, okay, well done. You know, and I kept on, and they kept on telling me the progress every day, and I'll cheer for her, I'll clap for her, I'll tell her, you know, well done. You know, keep eating your food so that you grow strong, you grow big, you grow tall. Keep on eating the food, you know. And one day, I came to pick her up. They actually took a photograph of her eating the last uh, food in the plate. So her plate was empty when they took this picture. And they showed it to me. I was so excited. I praised her. I even bought her a gift. I can't remember what I actually bought for her. But it was so, it was super exciting. And guess what? From that day, she started eating or finishing her school dinners and her school lunch very, very well. What am I trying to say? It's all about encouraging. Yes, they may not like the school lunch. Encourage them to eat it. If push comes to shove, arrange with the school and get packed lunch for her. So get food from your own home. Find out what your child likes to eat and pack those things that your child likes to eat into a lunchbox and give it to your child. You don't expect your child to get everything right on the first day. Even as an adult, as a parent, we don't get things right. So your child is not supposed to get everything right, get all, eat all their food at the school dinners on the first day, no. Just take things a day at a time. Another thing that most parents are concerned about is, my child will not make friends. Will my child make friends? Something that interests me where children are, we can just go out to a function and my children or other children will start playing together. I'm like, have they met before? Children make friends easier than adults. You may feel that they will not make friends, but just see how it goes. See how day one goes. They may make friends faster than you think. If your child is on the very quiet side or an introvert, you could even speak to your teacher and maybe if the school has a body system, a body system is where they get maybe a child from an older class, from another class, or a child who has been there before, to just take your child around the school and introduce your child to maybe other people that they could fr be friends with at the playground, especially during playground time. Or you could speak to your child and find out from your child, how do you think you would make friends in the school? Don't force your 
child to make friends and say, oh, see those two people, make sure you make friends with them. See those ones, make sure you make friends with them. It's okay when um, in your, you have a neighbor or a relative in the same school, but what if you don't have a neighbor or a relative that is in the same school? Your child will have to figure things out on their own. You know your child better than anyone else. So speak to them about making friends. If your child is the, is the easygoing person that easily make friends, that's fine. You know, then your child can easily settle in. But if your child is not, there are other ways to, to work around it. You will be surprised when you come to pick your child that first day. Or even the next day, your child will be saying, Mommy, see my friend. Daddy, see my new friend. I'm telling you, a lot of times we have these concerns and these worries and they are just concerns and worries. Another concern that most parents have is, will my child be bullied? school. We hear a lot of things that happen in school. We hear about a lot of children that get bullied. We hear about even the bullies themselves and no parents want their child to be bullied. Speak with your child. There's nothing more important than speaking with your child. The more you speak with your child from day one of starting school, you get to know how your child is settling in the school, what they feel and how they feel about the school or about the people in their class or if there's anyone bothering your child, speak with your child and always have that, that um, communication with your child and with the child's teacher. So that if there's any signs that your child is not happy or that someone is bullying your child, you would have, you would sort of know and now address this issue with your child or with your child's teacher. Hopefully your child will not be bullied, but if there's any case of bullying at all, address it with your child. Talk to your child about it, then speak to your child's teacher. If your child's teacher doesn't think it's such a big deal, take it to the head of the school so that these issues can be addressed early enough. You don't want your child to shrink or go into a shell feeling so bad and not able to speak up. Some parents get concerned that their child may get lost in a school. The school could, could be so massive or even if it's a small school. Because the school is not the same as your home. So parents are scared that their child may get lost maybe on the way to the toilet, on the way to get water, on the way to the staff room or something like that, you know. But I would advise you could pay a visit to the school even before the child starts school. Pay a visit to the school and get someone or you and the teacher show the child where the toilet is, where the playground is, where the staff room or the offices are. You know, and just gently, the child would not know where everything is, but gradually, 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 everything cannot happen on day one of your child starting school. It's with time. Even as adults, you sometimes you have to do the same thing. You have to repeat the same thing for you to understand or for you to have a clearer vision of what a place looks or feels like. Then a child would, you, you would expect a child, you know, to have some difficulties. But it won't last long and it's part of life. They get to learn. They get to learn about the school. They get to learn about where to go to during playtime. They get to know about what happens when, the bell, when, the, when they hear the bell ringing and when it's time for maybe school assembly. They get to know these things. This, the school will or should explain to them. And with time, they get to know all these things. The children you see that are in primary six, they were not the same in primary one. They got to learn, they got to follow the school rules and before you know it, they are so confident and they are speaking with the teachers and they are going out to the school to represent the school. You know, it wasn't like that on day one. Parents, all go, most parents, trust me, go through the same thing. So do not be scared, please. As a parent, as a mom, be calm. Don't be nervous. Your child is starting school. Yes, it's fine to be nervous, but don't show your child you're nervous. If you show them that you're nervous, they will be afraid. On the first day, they might start crying. Your child is starting school for the first time. You're handing your child over to the teacher. You're leaving him in school and you just turn back. You, you'll be a little bit emotional. Well, I was a bit emotional. I don't know about you, but I was a bit emotional. I was so excited at first. Oh, my child is starting school. Oh, I can't wait. Then I can do this and I can do that. But when you hand your child, at least that first day, I was so emotional, I was like, oh my god, this is a big step, this is all part of life. Um, you can get a picture book and read a picture book about starting school. Sit with your child, read, read this book about starting school for your child to see 
themselves in that character. And with time, everything is about time. With time, they will be fine. Get to know your child's teacher. Get to know other people. If you have neighbors that are going to the same school, make friends with them. But I just want to assure you, from experience, I've got four children. They've all gone through different types of schools and everything. You will be fine. And it's okay to feel how you're feeling. You're not alone. It's okay. There's so many of us, so many, so many, that feel exactly how you're feeling right now. But you will be fine. And your child will be fine. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you and your child the best of luck as they start big school. Thank you for watching.